Hello, hello. Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me in our online yoga school, Yoga Flow. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your seat. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down our mind and bodies here today. Tucking our tummies in at our navel, ensuring our spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken, having control of that body, relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Gaze in the eyes downward or closing the eyes. As we breathe in deeply, Exhale. Noticing how the breath feels within the body as we breathe our palms and heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum, the center of our chest, if that feels good for you. As we continue to gaze down, silent meditation for natural breaths. Two breaths. Flowing the palms above our heads and our salute. Fingertips flows up towards the heavens. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, elongating that spinal cord here. Interlacing the fingers with the point of finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back. Feeling this slight back bend. We're going to hold this three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms. Seated extended mountain, twisting the body towards the right. Palms come downward towards the earth, slightly gazing over our right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. We can connect our left hand to our right knee if that feels good, going deeper in this twist as we soothe and relax, decompress our spine. Three more breaths. Two breaths. I exhale back to center, coming into a seated star. And our star, our arms are slightly out towards the side. Twisting the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over that left shoulder. Connecting the right hand to the left knee if that feels good, going deeper in that twist. We're going to hold this, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into that star. Breathing to our extended mountain. Palms are above our heads, but they are not together. Exhaling to our salute. Palms are together. Breathing down to heart center. Seated prayer. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. Taking a moment to go in. Relaxing the mind and the body here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow our palms to the sides of our bodies, our palms are connected to the earth as we are using our hands to connect to our environment. Tuning in, taking notice of what is going on around us. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Lower the arms above our heads, coming back into that salute. Interlacing the fingers. Point of finger points up towards the heavens. Arms flow slightly towards the back, feeling this slight back bend here. Chin is up. Three breaths. 
two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated, extended mountain. Breathing to our seated star, breathing the palms slightly outward towards the side. Exhaling the arms down low towards the side. As we rotate the arms forward, we are working on soothing and building strength in the upper parts of our bodies here. Feeling the shoulder rotations. And we can move the arms nice and slow or we can go fast or big. Whatever feels best for you, four more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause at center, rotating the arms in the opposite direction, feeling this work in the upper parts of the body as well as the back blades. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause at center, breathing the palms back up to our salute, interlacing those fingers, point the finger points up, arms flow slightly towards the back, heart chakra is open, chin is up. Three breaths. This here is a counter stretch, allowing this to relax and soothe. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, breathing the palms down at heart center, seated prayer. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears, allowing us to soothe and relax the upper parts of the body. Two more breaths. As we exhale to our bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, we are working on opening up our hips here. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So taking a moment to feel which one feels best for you as we connect our hands to our feet. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. We are in our bound cow pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to cat, breathing that chin to the clavicle, spinal cord flows to the back of the room. Tummies are tucked at our navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to cow. Exhale to cat. Coming to center, we are back in that bow position as we slightly hinge at the hips, leaning forward. Torso comes downward towards the feet. Noticing that when we hinge, you may feel this more in your inner thighs. So only go down as much as your body comfortably allows you to go down. As our shoulders melt forward, our head melts downward towards our feet. Feeling this nice deep hip opener here. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, using our hands to breathe our legs and we're straightening our legs coming into that staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Bodies are nice and elongated here. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We're gonna relax here in our staff, gazing our eyes downward or closing our eyes as we go inward for three breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Flowing our arms above our heads and our salute, feeling that stretch, pointing our toes downward towards the earth, coming into that plantar flex, that ballerina's foot. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale into prayer, breathing the palms down their heart center. Shoulders relax down. Slightly hinging at the hips, coming into that half seated forward fold. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. If we're able, we can come down to a complete forward fold, connecting the hands to the ankles or the lower parts of the feet. Shoulders melt forward, head melts down towards the knees. Gaze in the eyes down. Four breaths. Two 
two more breaths. Exhale into half forward. Coming back up to our staff pose. Crossing our feet at our ankles. We're going to come into a tabletop pose. Coming onto our hands and our knees. Our knees are hip distance apart. Palms are flat on the earth. As we drop down to our cow, you'll feel this in your lumbar spine. This pose is good for lower back pain. Chin slightly up. Gaze in the eyes down. We're going to hold this pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into cat. Breathing the chin to the clavicle. Spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. Tucking our tummy at our navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing to our cow. Exhale to cat. Coming back to our table as we extend our right leg out towards the back, feeling that stretch here. Pointing those toes, gazing forward. Tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna work on our sunbird here, extending that left arm forward. So we have our right leg towards the back, Left arm forward. We are balancing and strengthening here. Four breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird. We're gonna hold this two more breaths. As we pulse that right leg upwards, we're working on that gluteus maximus. Pulsing that leg up, three breaths, two breaths. Finding pause. Exhale back to table, dropping down to cow. We're gonna hold this two breaths. Exhale, cat. Lower back to our table as we extend our left leg towards the back, sunbird, opposite side, feeling that stretch, pointing those toes. Extending that right arm forward, we are in that full sunbird. Gaze forward, tummy's tight. Four breaths. Balancing and strengthening. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird, knee to elbow, crunching that body. Exhale back to bird, holding it two breaths. Pulsing that left leg up, working at gluteus maximus. Three breaths, two breaths. Finding that pause, exhale back to table. Dropping down to cow, chin is up. Exhale, the cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push the body up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Walking the dog by pedaling our feet left and right. We are building strength in our upper body as we find our pause, extending that left leg in the air. I'm sorry, extending that right leg in the air. Three-legged dog, right side. Gazing back at that foot. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. 
Exhale, knee to elbow or knee to nose, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. Walk in the dog, pedal on the feet. Finding our pause. We're going to keep on flowing here, building strength. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left leg flows up in the air, gazing at their foot. Two more breaths. Exhale, knee to elbow, knee to nose, feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Body's getting nice and warm. Back to three-legged. Knee to elbow, knee to nose. Feeling that crunch. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. As we walk our dog. Finding pause, we're going to come into our dolphin. Dropping down to our forearms, buttocks is nice and high in the air. As we are gazed back at our feet, dolphin pose. Walking our feet closer towards our bodies if that feels good. Allowing that buttocks to come nice and high in the air. Pulsing up and down on our tippy toes if that feels good for you. This dolphin pose here is a headstand prep pose. We're going to hang out here for more breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause, dropping down to our knees. We're going to come into a puppy pose. With our thighs close together, buttocks is high in the air, torso comes downward towards the earth, arms are extended in front of us, palms flat down, our forehead, third eye chakra is connected to the earth, puppy pose. Taking a nice breath in, exhale, feeling those shoulder blades melt forward. Feeling the eyes close, gaze down. As we go inward, relaxing and soothing here in our puppy, five natural breaths. Breathing our palms over our head and our prayer hands, if that feels good. Three more breaths. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose. Using our palms to push our torsos forward, feeling that wave, using our palms to push our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling that spinal cord wave and soothe here. Three breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center, coming back to our table. We're going to drop down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we breathe that right arm up in the air, gazing at our fingertips, gazing at our right fingertips. Breathe in, exhale, thread the needle, right arm threads through the left heart chakra, comes downward towards the earth, allowing that body to soothe and relax. Uh. We can wrap this left arm behind our backs if that feels good, 
or we can extend that left arm above our head, palms flat on the earth. Whatever you choose, four breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly unwrapping that arm. We're gonna unthread that needle, coming back to our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table as we breathe our left arm up in the air, gazing at our left fingers, taking a nice breath in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right heart chakra, torso comes downward towards the earth. We can breathe that right arm above our heads, flat on the earth here, and I thread the needle. Or we can wrap it behind our backs, whatever you choose, four breaths. Two more breaths. <clears throat> We're gonna slowly unwrap that arm as we unthread that needle, coming back to our table, drop into cow, exhale to cat. Coming back to table as we push the bodies up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking the dog by pedal on the feet, left and right. Finding pause, we're gonna breathe that right foot to that right hand, runners blind. <sighs> Dropping that left leg down, coming into that low lunge. Pushing our torso away from our thigh. Breathing our arms above our heads, coming into that crescent lunge. This here is a split prep pose. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that left knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge. Extending that front leg, coming into that pyramid, feeling that stretch. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down towards that knee. Allowing the body to relax and soothe. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Breathe down, dog. Gangs and at the feet. Walking the dog, pet on the feet, left and right. Finding pause, we're going to breathe that left foot to left hand. Runner's lunge, opposite side. Dropping that right knee down, coming into that low lunge. Lifting that torso away from that thigh. Breathing our arms above our heads, coming into that crescent lunge. Feeling this in our hips. This pose prepares the body for split. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back forward, framing that front foot. Taking that right knee off the earth, back in that runner's lunge. Straightening that front leg, coming into that pyramid, feeling that stretch here. Behind the legs and the hamstrings, torso melts down, head flows towards the knees. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to run his lunge, bend the neck, front knee. 
Breathe down, dog. Gazing at the feet. As we walk our feet towards our hands, coming into that complete forward fold, head, torso relaxes over the thighs, feeling this full body stretch. You may feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. We're going to hold this three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. Backs are straight. Two more breaths. Yogi walking the feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance here. Just bringing those feet apart as we flow back down to our complete forward fold. Connecting our hands to our ankles. And if we choose, maybe we can flow into a rag doll, connecting our hands to our elbows, filling this nice deep stretch. Four breaths. And maybe we can sway, rocking our body from side to side if that feels good. Noticing when we add movement to the pose, when we sway left and right, you may feel it a little more behind your legs and your hamstring. So this is good for anyone who has tight hamstrings. We're going to hang out here for one more breath. Finding pause at center, coming into that half forward fold, slightly gazing forward. As we breathe this left hand to this right ankle. Taking this right arm behind our backs, wrapping it how we do in our thread the needle as we slightly gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our crop, we are in our cross body stretch here. We're gonna hang out here for breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to center, half forward fold. As we breathe this right hand to that left ankle, crossing this left arm behind our backs like we do in our thread the needle as we gaze over that left shoulder, cross body stretch opposite side. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. Walking our hands forward, breathing our feet together, down dog. Low into our dolphin, coming onto our four arms, but axis high in the air. Three breaths. Coming down to our knees, we're going to come into a child's pose. Breathing our buttocks towards our heels of our feet. Torso comes down between our thighs. Arms are extended in front of us, palms flat on the earth with our third eye chakra, our forehead, connected to the earth. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulder blades melt forward. Eyes are closed. We're going to relax and soothe and go inward, focusing on self. Five natural breaths. Blowing our hands into prayer hands over our head, if that feels good. 
Three more breaths. Extending our arms back in front of us, that extended child's pose, palms flat on the earth, spine a wave in the body out of this child's pose, feeling that body soothe, feeling that spine, soothe and relax and decompress, three breaths, two breaths. Mm. Finding our pose at center, coming back to table, dropping to cow. Exhale, cat. Flowing back the table, pushing the body up, down dog. Walking our feet to our hands, complete forward fold, feeling that body soon. Three breaths. Exhale and half forward fold, slightly gaze forward. Breathe to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. <sighs> Standing nice and tall and firm here as our feet are planted into the earth. Breathing our palms above our heads and our salute, palms together. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Interlacing our finger, point of finger points up towards the heavens. Arms flow slightly towards the back, filling this slight back bend. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating those palms. Coming into that standing extended mountain. Palms are separated. When our palms are together, we are in that standing salute. Palms are separated. We are in that extended mountain. Lean in the body towards the right, coming into that side bend, feeling that C spine. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, three breaths. <clears throat> Two breaths. Exhaling back to center. Lean in the body to the opposite side, feeling that C spine. Gazing up at the heavens, three breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing the palms together in our salute. Exhale down the prayer, relaxing those palms at heart center. We are in that standing prayer. Shoulders relaxes downward away from the ears. Soothing and relaxing the body. Eyes are gazed down the clothes. Our feet are planted. Our feet are grounded into the earth. Here in our standing prayer, may we use this pose to go inward, focusing on self seeing what it is that we need, seeing what it is that we are, where we are going and what we are doing. And simply just being aware of self and aware of life. Without judgment, we are simply taking notice of self. We are simply taking notice of where we are right here, right now in this moment in life and this moment in time. And we are happy with where we are without judgment as we continue to grow and move forward to where we want to continue to go and where we want to be but always being present in this moment. With our palms at heart center, eyes gaze down, may we relax, standing, silent meditation, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, half forward fold, slightly hinging at the hips, keeping the palms at heart center. You'll feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. Two more breaths. Exhale to chair pose, slightly bending those knees, extending those arms in front of us. We are in that extended chair. We are working the lower parts of our bodies here. Chin is up, four breaths. Two more breaths.
Breathing up, palms there, heart center, twisting the body towards the left, chair pose twist, two breaths. Exhale back to center, chair pose twist, opposite side. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Two more breaths. Chair pose. Pray your hands. Exhale. Complete forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles or lower parts of the leg. Head melts down. Three breaths. This forward fold is a counter pose to what we just did. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale, half forward fold, slightly gaze forward. Breathing to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our side. <sighs> Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. As we bring our, our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance, pointing our toes to the outer parts of our yoga mat. Toes are pointed to the edges of the yoga mat. Coming into those cactus hands, bending the knees, goddess stance. We are going to continue working the lower parts of our bodies here. Goddess. Feeling the body strength in here. Feeling the legs firm and toned. As we breathe our palms above our heads in that salute, chin is up. Exhale into prayer, palms at heart center, God is prayer. Coming back to cactus hands, two breaths. Exhale, standing star, straightening the legs. Palms come out towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Feeling that heartbeat regulate and soothe. Eyes are gazed down. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back down to that goddess stance, bending those knees. As we pulse the body up and down here in our guys. Noticing the different muscle groups we work when we pulse up and down. Pulsing is just an option. Building strength, finding pause as we rock the body from side to side. Working different muscle groups. We are toning and firming. Four more breaths. Chin is up. Two breaths. Finding our pause. Pulsing up and down. Four breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause. Exhale, complete forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles, head melts down. This is a counter stretch. Allowing the body to soothe and relax here. Five breaths. Mm. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Two more breaths. Walking those hands forward, breathing those legs together, down dog. Walking our dog by pedal on our feet, left and right. Finding paws coming into that dolphin. We're going to hang out here in dolphin. Three breaths. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a child's pose or puppy pose. Whatever feels good for you and your body. Four breaths.
Two more breaths. Spinal waving our bodies out of our child's pose, puppy pose. Feeling that spinal soothe and relax. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding pause at center, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated pose. Yes, for a second. We're going to come on to our backs, coming into a reclined position. Hugging our knees into our chest. Shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. Two breaths. Extending the legs up in the air, legs on the wall poles or invisible wall. In our case, as we are pointing our toes upwards towards the heavens in that plantar flex, Feeling those toes point up. We are in the ballerina's foot. Shoulders melts back into the yoga mat. Allowing that body to relax and soothe. Breathe in. Exhale. Reaching our hands down to the lower parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Legs to torso stretch, buttocks come slightly off the earth. This here is a full body stretch. Two more breaths. Exhale, legs back up on the wall. Hanging out here. As we allow our legs to flow towards the side, recline wide legged stretch. Feeling that stretch here in the inner thighs. We can reach our hands down to our toes if that feels good. Or we can just keep our legs towards the side. Whatever you choose. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our legs back inward. Hugging knees to chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist. Feel the next spine relax and soothe and decompress here. You may even feel that spinal cord cracking, maybe. Taking that right arm, breathing it out to the side like a T, gazing up at the heavens, or gazing over that right shoulder if that feels good. Shoulder blades melts back to the yoga mat. Eyes are closed or gaze down as we feel our bodies relaxing and soothing. May we go inward, five breaths, silent meditation. Three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Exhale, breathing the legs towards the opposite side. Knees fall towards the right spinal twist, right side. Feeling that spine decompress here. Left arm goes out to the side like a T. As we are gazed up at the heavens or we are gazed over that left shoulder. Feeling that nice deep spinal twist. Shoulder blades melts back into the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed down and closed. Bodies melting. Bodies relaxing. Bodies filling one. Five breaths of silence.
Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, hugging those knees into the chest, relaxing the body here. Keeping those knees in the air. We're going to bring our feet flat on the earth. Knees in the air, feet flat on the earth. We're going to take our hands and bring our palms next to our buttocks. Allowing those shoulders to melt towards the back. Feeling that body completely go inwards here. Feeling that body completely become one with the earth, one with your yoga mat. Eyes are gazed down, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale up, we're gonna flow into our bridge pose, using our feet and our buttocks, using our feet and our hands to lift our buttocks up. You'll feel that gluteus maximus get nice and tight here. We can bring our hands underneath our buttocks, interlacing our fingers and walking our shoulder blades towards our spine, coming into a nice high bridge. Our hip bones are high. Our torso is higher. We are in that pelvic tilt. We are in that bridge pose. Noticing how that gluteus maximus is nice and firm and tight. As we pulse the body up and down, working that gluteus maximus a little more if we choose. Pulsing the body, feeling that gluteus maximus burn. And doing this, we are lifting and rounding our buttocks. Eight breaths. Now we can pulse it or we can simply squeeze it up and stay still, whatever you choose. Six more breaths. Four breaths. Pulsing that body up and down if we were not. Noticing how it feels when we pulse. Pulsing it up, slightly coming down, pulsing it back up and squeezing nice and tight. Gluteus maximus rounding and lifting. Two more breaths. Hmm. Coming slightly down. Pulsing the body back up, squeezing it nice and tight. We're going to do a bonus. Three breaths. Two breaths. Squeeze, squeeze, nice and tight. Uninterlacing those fingers. Untucking those shoulders, buttocks comes down. Breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. This is a counter pose. Now the body to soothe and relax. Shoulders melt towards the back. Extending those legs up in the air, legs on the wall. Reaching down, bringing our feet, bringing our thighs towards our torso. Legs comes up. Buttocks are slightly off the earth. Two more breaths. Exhaling legs back up in the air. Breathing our knees. To our chest, extending the legs parallel side by side, Shavasana rest pose. The sides of our feet are connecting. As we allow our feet to fall to the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Feeling our shoulder blades become one with the earth. Feel in the heartbeat regularly and see. Allow when the eyes to flutter close. Gazing down. Whatever feels best for you. Placing our hands wherever we choose here in our rest holes. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we relax in Shavasana, six natural breaths.
Three more breaths. Rolling onto our side, coming into a fetus pose, fetal pose, keeping those eyes gazed down and closed if that feels good for you. Continuing to relax the mind and body here. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Mm. Slowly wiggling those toes, rotating the feet at the ankles, moving the buttocks at the hips. As we use our top hand, to push our bodies up to a seated pose, or we can feel free to stay in our resting pose if that feels good for us. I'm gonna come into a cow face legs. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you, or may you stay in your rest pose if that feels good for you and your body. Here in our seated pose, spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we're not sunken, Nice long spine, tummies are tucked at the navel. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. As we flow our hands above our heads in our salute, interlacing our fingers, pointed finger points up, arms flow slightly towards the back, heart chakras open, chin is up, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that salute. Exhale to prayer, palms come, heart center. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Eyes are gazed down. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time Self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice yoga with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.